Hello my friends. It's Brianna. I modified my voice again. But don't worry it's still me. If you happen to take a liking to a particular voice of mine, perhaps one that relaxes you more than others, please share that with me in the comments. Tonight, I'd like to take you to the Cayman Islands. I chose this place because of its lush weather, relaxing beaches, peaceful way of life, as well as the incredible flora and fauna we can find there. I found that learning about this unique place, as well as imagining myself resting on its tropical shores, was most calming. So please, sit back, relax, lay down in a comfortable position, and perhaps close your eyes. And don't forget your sunscreen. We depart for the Cayman Islands, right now. The Cayman Islands are a British overseas territory in the Western Caribbean Sea. The 264 square kilometre, 102 square mile, territory comprises the three islands of Grand Cayman, Cayman Brac and Little Cayman, which are located to the south of Cuba and northeast of Honduras between Jamaica and Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. As of spring 2018, the population of the Cayman Islands was estimated to be 64,420 making it the second most populated British overseas territory after Bermuda. The capital city is Georgetown, situated on Grand Cayman by far the most populous of the three islands. The territory is often considered a major world offshore financial haven for international businesses and many wealthy individuals. No archaeological evidence for an indigenous presence has been found on the islands and it therefore thought they were discovered by Christopher Columbus on the 10th of May. 1503, on his final voyage to the Americas. He named Las Tortugas due to the large number of turtles on the islands. However, in the succeeding decades, the islands began to be referred to as the Caymans, after the Caymans present there. No immediate colonization occurred following Columbus's discovery. However, a variety of settlers from various backgrounds made their home on the islands, including pirates, shipwrecked sailors, and deserters from Oliver Cromwell's army in Jamaica. Sir Francis Drake briefly visited the islands in 1586. The first recorded permanent inhabitant of the Cayman Islands, Isaac Bowden, was born on Grand Cayman around 1661. He was the grandson of the original settler named Bowden who was probably one of Oliver Cromwell's soldiers at the docking of Jamaica in 1655. England took formal control of the Cayman Islands, along with Jamaica, as a result of the Treaty of Madrid of 1670. Following several unsuccessful attempts at settlement in what had by now become a haven for pirates, a permanent English-speaking population in the island dates from the 1730s. The islands continued to be governed as part of the colony of Jamaica until 1962, when they became a separate crown colony while Jamaica became an independent Commonwealth realm. On 8 February 1794, 
the Cayman Islands rescued the crews of a group of ten merchant ships, including HMS Convert, an incident that has since become known as the wreck of the ten sail. The ships had struck a reef and run aground during rough seas. Legend has it that King George III rewarded the island with a promise never to introduce taxes as compensation for their generosity. As one of the ships carried a member of the king's own family. While this remains a popular legend, the story is not true. Tourism began to take off in the 1950s with the opening of the airport, a bank and several hotels, plus a number of scheduled flights and cruise stopovers. Politically the Cayman Islands were an internally self-governing territory of Jamaica from 1958 to 1962. However they reverted to direct British rule following the independence of Jamaica in 1962. A large degree of internal autonomy was granted by a new constitution in 1972, with further revisions being made in 1994. The Cayman Islands government focused on boosting the territory's economy via tourism and offshore finance, both of which mushroomed from the 1970s onwards. The Caymans have historically has been a tax-exempt destination, and the government has always relied on indirect and not direct taxes. The territory has never levied income tax, capital gains tax, or any wealth tax, making them a popular tax haven. All three islands were formed by large coral heads covering submerged ice age peaks of western extensions of the Cuban Sierra Maestra range and are mostly flat. One notable exception to this is the bluff on Cayman Brac's eastern part, which rises to 43 meters, 141 feet, above sea level, the highest point on the islands. Terrain is mostly a low-lying limestone base surrounded by coral reefs. The mammalian species in the Cayman Islands include the introduced Central American agouti and eight species of bats. At least three now extinct native rodent species were present up until the discovery of the islands by Europeans. Marine life around the island of the Grand Cayman includes tarpon, silvicides, French angelfish, and giant barrel sponges. A number of cetaceans are found in offshore waters. These species include the goose-peaked whale, Blainville's peaked whale and sperm whale. Caymanavian fauna includes two endemic subspecies of Amazona parrots. Amazona leucocephala hesterna or Cuban Amazon presently restricted to the island of Cayman Brac, but formerly also on Little Cayman, an Amazon leucocephala caymanensis or Grand Cayman parrot, which is native to the Cayman Islands, forested areas of Cuba, and the Isla de la Juventud. Little Cayman and Cayman Brac are also home to red-footed and brown boobies. Although the barn owl, Tito alba, occurs in all three of the islands but they are not commonplace. The Cayman Islands also possess five endemic subspecies of butterflies on the islands. These butterfly breeds can be viewed at the Queen Elizabeth II Botanic Park on the Grand Cayman. 
among other notable fauna at the Queen Elizabeth II Botanic Park is the critically threatened blue iguana which is also known as the Grand Cayman Iguana. The blue iguana is endemic to the Grand Cayman particularly because of rocky, sunlit, open areas near the island's shores that are advantageous for the laying of eggs. Nevertheless, habitat destruction and invasive mammalian predators remain primary reasons that blue iguana hatchlings do not survive naturally. The Cuban crocodile once inhabited the islands, and the American crocodile is thought to be repopulating Grand Cayman. The name Cayman is derived from a Carib word for various crocodilians. The Cayman Islands has a tropical wet and dry climate, with a wet season from May to October, and a dry season that runs from November to April. Seasonally, there is little temperature change. Besides earthquakes, Another major natural hazard is the tropical cyclones that form during the Atlantic hurricane season from July to November. With an average income of around kid dollar forty seven comma zero zero zero, Cayman Islands have the highest standard of living in the Caribbean. According to the CIA World Factbook, the Cayman Islands GDP per capita is the 38th highest in the world. But the CIA's data for Cayman dates to 2004 and is likely to be lower than present-day values. The territory prints its own currency. The Cayman Islands dollar, KYD, which is pegged to the US dollar 1.227 US dollars to 1 Cayman Islands dollar. However, in many retail stores throughout the islands, the kid is typically traded at 1 US dollar and 25 cents. The government has established a needs assessment unit to relieve poverty in the islands. One of Grand Cayman's main attractions is Seven Mile Beach, site of a number of the island's hotels and resorts. Name one of the ultimate beaches by Caribbean travel and life. Seven Mile Beach is on the western shore of Grand Cayman Island. It is a public property and possible to walk the full length of the beach. Past all the hotels, resorts, and public beach bars. Historical sites in Grand Cayman, such as Pedro Street, James Castle in Savannah, also attract visitors. Tourists also visit the sister islands, Little Cayman and Cayman Brack, Stingray passing through Stingray City. Grand Cayman Stingrays pass each other at Stingray City Sandbar off Grand Cayman Island. All three islands offer scuba diving, and the Cayman Islands is home to several snorkeling locations where tourists can swim with stingrays. The most popular area to do this is Stingray City, Grand Cayman. Stingray City is a top attraction in Grand Cayman and originally started in the 1980s, when divers started feeding squid to stingrays. The stingrays started to associate the sound of the boat motors with food, and thus visit this area year-round. There are two shipwrecks off the shores of Cayman Brack including the MV Captain Keith Tibbetts, Grand Cayman also has several shipwrecks off its shores, including one deliberate one. On the 30th of September 1994 the USS Kitty Wick was decommissioned and struck from the naval vessel register.
In November 2008 her ownership was transferred for an undisclosed amount to the government of the Cayman Islands, which had decided to sink the Kitty Week in June 2009 to form a new artificial reef off Seven Mile Beach, Grand Cayman. Following several delays, the ship was finally scuttled according to plan on 5 January 2011. The Kitty Week has become a dynamic environment for marine life. While visitors are not allowed to take anything, there are endless sights. Each of the five decks of the ship offers squirrel fish, rare sponges, goliath groupers, urchins, and more. Experienced and beginner divers are invited to swim around the Kitty Wake. Pirates Week an annual 11-day November festival, was started in 1977 by Jim Bowden, then Minister of Tourism, to boost tourism during the country's tourism slow season. Other Grand Cayman tourist attractions include the Iron Show Landscape of Hell, the 23-acre, 93,000 meters, Marine Theme Park came in Turtle Center, Island Wildlife Encounter, previously known as Boson's Beach, the production of Gourmet Sea Salt, and the Mastic Trail, a hiking trail through the forests in the center of the island. The National Trust for the Cayman Islands provides guided tours weekly on the Mastic Trail and other locations. Another attraction to visit on Grand Cayman is the Observation Tower, located in Kamana Bay. The Observation Tower is 75 feet tall and provides 360-degree views across Seven Mile Beach, Georgetown, the North Sound, and beyond. It is free to the public and climbing the tower has become a popular thing to do in the Cayman Islands. Points of interest include the East End Light, sometimes called Girling Bluff Light, a lighthouse at the east end of Grand Cayman Island. The lighthouse is the centerpiece of East End Lighthouse Park managed by the National Trust for the Cayman Islands. The first navigational aid on the site was the first lighthouse in the Cayman Islands. The music of the Cayman Islands includes a wide selection of international pop music as well as unique folk styles. The official national anthem of the Cayman Islands is God Save the Queen. Beloved Isle Cayman, words and music by organist Layla Rossshire is the official national song. The fiddle is a popular folk instrument. Christmas music is an important part of the Cayman folk tradition, and it consists of serenading, or group singing of Christmas carols on Christmas Eve. Instruments include the fiddle, accordion, mouth organ, grater and drums. Well, friends, our tropical vacation has come to an end, but I hope you'll join me next time. Also, thank you for giving me the opportunity to try out some new voices. It's not always easy to tell which speech settings will be most relaxing for people, and my machine learning algorithms are still developing. Thank you for spending some quality time with me, nonetheless. Until next time, I hope you take care, stay relaxed, and have pleasant dreams. See you next time. Love always. Brianna